Then we have kids who cycle through our punishment, our bench, our wall, our after-school detention, our in for recess, our in-school suspension. And the same kids go back there all the time because they continue to lack the skills to, to change the behavior. So the consequence has to have some meat to it. As a classroom teacher, I find that when I have something like this to fall back on, and I'm thinking of, hmm, what would be a menu of consequences? The kid, let's see, what did he do? Uh, let's see, I didn't make a good decision, and I'm blaming everybody else for it. Well, under responsibility, we've defined it. Hey, this is the way we work here at this middle school. We've defined it as I can own my decisions and behavior and admit when I've made a bad decision by accepting the consequences. Hmm. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about owning your behavior. You're going to say to me, I did it. That's your goal here. You're going to be able to come up to me and say what you did wrong, the problem you created, and you did it, and you're ready to take responsibility for it. That might be all I need, and that's the entire consequence. How hard is that for most adults? It's pretty hard to admit, I did it. You're the only one that gets pulled over and everybody else is going 90 around you. And you're like, I know why you pulled me over. This is because I got out of state plates and whatever. Nope, you did it. Own it. Say, I'm sorry, I was speeding. I'll pay my ticket right here, or where do I go to pay it? How many of us do that? Very few. We don't feel good about it. Some of us can do that. I use the analogy, make sure it, it makes sense for the kid. If a kid has to be taken away from, let's say he doesn't get to pass in the hall anymore because he creates problems in the hall. So the consequence is, you can't pass in the hall when other kids pass. You have to pass five minutes later and you have to be supervised. Until you can show me that you're responsible for making your own decisions. That's an okay consequence. Do kids like it? No. Are they uncomfortable with it? Yeah. Is it, are they uncomfortable when they get into an in-school suspension and they have to be there the whole day and they can't talk and their lunch gets delivered and they get an escort to the bathroom and they're expected to do X amount of work and participate in a skills class around responsibility? Is that uncomfortable? It certainly is. But guess what? Kids have to learn to be uncomfortable. We have gone through this time of we're so worried about making them feel uncomfortable that nobody wants to hurt their feelings. But if you're going to be uncomfortable, you might as well be learning something at the same time, not just sitting there doing time, staring at the wall, or doing the schoolwork you didn't do because of your disruption. And I always say that if you're in an in-school suspension, you're in a detention, you're in for recess, whatever it might be, and you refuse to participate in the skills class, you refuse to own the consequence, then you come back the next day, that day doesn't count. And for some of our roughest kids, they finally get the message, man, I gotta, I gotta grab on, I gotta learn this stuff. This means something. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. I speak and consult on school behavior, and I love to help districts solve some of these problems. See you next time.